When Amber Pangborn started going into labor, she not only found herself fighting for her life, but the life of her daughter. I was just there at the end was just thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I wasn't sure if we were going to actually get out of there. Pangborn began having contractions in South Oroville and decided to go up Oro Quincy Highway and take a connecting road to her parents' house off Highway 70. I was like told about this back road and people had shown it to me a few times but I'd never driven it by myself. As she continued down French Creek Road, she quickly found herself low on gas and out of cell service. And there was no cell phone service, there was like no, there was nothing and um, the car was out of gas. I had At approximately 5 a.m., Amber gave birth to daughter Marissa on her own and with the nearest help miles away. Low on water and with only four apples for the next three days, Amber fought off bees and mosquitoes. The meat bees came out. They were trying to get the placenta and I was trying to get them not to sting her and I got stung trying to keep them away from the, I was trying to keep them away from the baby but they were wanting the placenta. <laughs> On Saturday, she was able to start a signal fire that was discovered by a U.S. forestry fire detection system. The fire just went, whew, and the whole side of the mountain just like caught on fire. And I was like, looking at Marissa, I named my daughter Marissa, and I was just like, I think mommy just started a forest fire, honey. Within a couple hours, a Cal Fire helicopter discovered the stranded pair and sent a rescue team from the forestry department. And I was just crying, like I was just so happy because I thought we were going to die, like I just... I was just so glad that like someone finally seen us and like we were going to be okay. Amber and Marissa were admitted into Oroville Hospital on Saturday and Marissa was taken to UC Davis on Sunday for further evaluation.